There's a lot of talk about cutting the cable cord, but it hasn't always been easy. Most of the streaming TV boxes and services that exist now are kind of just good add-ons to cable. But now there are two new gadgets that might make cutting the cord ready for prime time. First up, Roku in a smart TV. Roku already makes a pretty well-known streaming video box, but now they've partnered up with two off-brand TV makers, TCL and Hisense, and they're producing these TVs that do easy internet streaming. They have built-in Wi-Fi and you control them with essentially a Roku remote that even has little shortcuts for things like Netflix and Amazon Instant Video. The best thing about Roku TV is that when you search for a show or even an actor or a director, the results show up from any channel that the show is streaming on. You can use it with cable or with an HD antenna. The Roku service is free, although of course you have to pay for your internet video subscriptions, and the TVs themselves are cheap. The 48-inch TCL is just $500. The 40-inch Hisense comes out later this month and there's no price yet, but either one of them is a good option as a bedroom TV where you maybe don't have a cable hookup. But I have to be honest, the Roku interface is wonderful, super easy to use, but the TVs themselves, not great in the picture department. Enter option two. I buy whatever nice TV I want, and then I plug in this new TiVo Romeo OTA. The OTA stands for over the air, because this TiVo works with an HD antenna so that it can pull in free network channels. Then it can record shows on those channels because it's a TiVo, which the Roku can't do without a standalone DVR. Your mileage will definitely vary with an HD antenna. Some people have great signal and get all the channels in their area, and some people, not so much. Like the Roku, the TiVo can search across sources for shows. So if you search for something, it'll show up if it's on network TV or if it's on Amazon or Hulu or Netflix or any of those. The TiVo box just costs $50, but you do have to pay 15 bucks a month for the service and the recording, which is kind of a bummer. Although it's still cheaper than cable, even with all those various subscriptions and internet costs. The biggest drawback is still the content. Unfortunately, there are a lot of shows that you'll have to pay extra for and a lot of sports games that you still won't be able to see. So after a few days of living without cable, I realized that the tech is finally good enough. Both the TiVo and the Roku TVs are really good. The content though, still has a ways to go. 